41. A fool's mind is at the mercy of his tongue, and a wise man's tongue is under the control of his mind. 42. One of the companions of Imam Ali fell ill. Imam Ali called upon him and thus advised him. Be thankful to Allah. He has made this illness a thing to atone your sins because ease in itself has nothing to bring reward to anyone. It merely expiates one's sins and so far as reward is concerned, one has to earn it with his good words and good deeds. The Almighty Lord grants paradise to his creatures on account of their piety and noble thoughts. 43. May Allah bless Kabab bin Arab. He embraced Islam of his own free will, migrated from Mecca cheerfully. He lived a contented life. He bowed happily before the will of Allah and he led the life of a mujahid. 44. Blessed who always kept the life after death in his view. He remembered the day of judgment through all his deeds, who led a contented life and who was happy with the lot that Allah had destined for him. 45. If I cut a faithful Muslim into pieces to make him hate me, he will not turn into my enemy. And if I give all the wealth of this world to a hypocrite to make him my friend, he will not befriend me. It is so because the Holy Prophet has said, O Ali, no faithful Muslim will ever be your enemy and no hypocrite will ever be your friend. 46. The sin which makes you sad and repent is more liked by Allah than the good deed which turns you arrogant. 47. Value of a man depends upon his courage. His veracity depends upon his self-respect and his chastity depends upon his sense of honor. 48. Success is the result of foresight and resolution. Foresight depends upon deep thinking and planning and the most important factor of planning is to keep your secrets to yourself. 49. Be afraid of a gentleman when he is hungry and of a mean person when his stomach is full. 50. Hearts of people are like wild beasts. They attach themselves to those who love and train them. 41. A fool's mind is at the mercy of his tongue and a wise man's tongue is under the control of his mind. 42. One of the companions of Imam Ali fell ill. Imam Ali called upon him and thus advised him.